Days of Our Lives spoilers preview week of July 8. Nickel races to reunite Eric and Jude. Jack fumes over digging up Abby. Monday, July 8. EJ furious over Gabby's Jude revelation. Nickel searches for Eric to slip Verity. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives spoilers exercise videotape for the week of July 8 to 12 reveals that Robert Bobby Stain Aka Everett Lynch will correct Jada Hunter when she insists the Bobbies formerly know who killed Lai Shin Bobby will argue that someone other than Gil Carter is to condemn. So he'll supposedly point the cutlet at Connie Galinsky rather. Connie is indeed responsible since Days lately showed her shamefaced flashback. And grounded on the cutter that's featured in Days of Our Lives' daily exercise videotape, she may feel the appetite to strike again. Of course, we should also talk about the fallout of Gabby Hernandez Demira's press conference disclosure. Gabby will assure Nicole Demira that everything she's claiming is legal. So Nicole will demand the verity from EJ Demira, indeed if EJ originally tries to deny his deception. It's clear that the ploy is over. Nicole will realize EJ indeed knew Eric Brady was Jude Brady's father, so she'll call him a uh, and shove him in a fit of rage. Latterly, EJ will have a fierce outburst of his own since Day's daily promo shows him crying as he smashes a drinking glass. This will mark the launch of EJ's vengeance on Gabby and Stefan, Dimara, so they'd more be ready. Back with Nicole, she'll race to the field with Jude and Hitch. Nicole will stop Eric from getting on that Paris flight and will shock him with the news that Jude is his son. So a family reunion is ahead. Next, Chad Demera will give Jack Devrox updates on his plan to have Abigail Demera's remains disinterred. Jack will cloud over Chad, wanting to dig up his son's body. But Chad will explain the Riddle Woman footage and what Clyde Weston now claims. Jack will eventually realize this is a necessary step since there's a chance Abigail could still be alive. Once Abigail's casket is opened and a shocking discovery is made, Chad and Jack may end up reeling over her missing cadaver. Over with Tate Black, he'll supplicate Alex Kyriakis not to gossip to Thursa Donovan, it looks like Alex may find out about Tate's rearmost scheme with Holly Jonas, so he'll land in a tight spot. Eventually, Day's exercise videotape points out that it's the end of an period. Bill Hayes' final occasion as Doug Williams is coming up on July 11. So snare your apkins and tune in for Dub's emotional last scene with Julie Williams. Days of Our Lives Spoilers Monday, July 8. EJ furious over Gabby's Jude revelation. Nickel searches for Eric to slip Verity. Days of Our Lives Spoilers for Monday, July 8 reveal that Nickel Demera will reel over Gabby Demera's veritably public allegations. Gabby stepped up to the Tribune at EJ Demera's press conference and ended up discovering that Eric Brady is Jude Demera. Aka Jude Brady's father. Nickel may misdoubt Gabby's claims at first, but Gabby will stand her ground and contend Stefan Demira blackmailed EJ into making sure she walked free. Stefan was only suitable to do that because he set up the inheritable report that proved EJ was lying about Jude's maternity. Once Nickel really thinks about it, she'll realize this makes total sense grounded on how EJ's been caring recently. EJ's response may not do much to help the situation since he'll presumably do a terrible job of denying the allegations against him. Stefan may reluctantly back Gabby over, so it won't be long until Nicole realizes Gabby's claims are legal. Day's spoilers say Nicole will frenetically work to find Eric since he's set to leave for Paris soon. By the time Monday's Days of Our Lives occasion winds down, Nicole should rein Eric with a shocking concession to make. One that's sure to change his trip plans. Meanwhile, EJ will cloud over Gabby, demeaning him in public, and going him his future with Nicole. Gabby will feel like she did the right thing, but Stefan will worry about the agony she just unleashed. Day's spoilers say EJ will covenant to get vengeance on Gabby and Stefan, so they'll have targets on their tails. And they'll leave Stefan upset about all the Demera family hostility erupting again. At Bayview, Day's spoilers say Robert Bobby Stain Aka Everett Lynch will continue discovering what he knows to Jada Hunter who just learned Bobby's knowledge involves Lai Shin's demise. Everett Akababi showed up in Salem shortly before Lai was taken out, so perhaps he saw Connie Galinsky go inside Lai's apartment. Connie just had a flashback of pecking Lai in the reverse, so Bobby may be suitable to point Jada in her direction. That's if she believes him. Of course, Bobby may or may not know Connie's name, but he could at least offer a description and offer Jada a new suspect. 
At Bayview, Day spoilers say Robert Bobby Stain Aka Everett Lynch will continue discovering what he knows to Jada Hunter who just learned Bobby's knowledge involves Lai Shin's demise. Everett Aka Bobby showed up in Salem shortly before Lai was taken out, so perhaps he saw Connie Galinsky go inside Lai's apartment. Connie just had a flashback of pecking Lai in the reverse, so Bobby may be suitable to point Jada in her direction. That's if she believes him. Of course, Bobby may or may not know Connie's name but he could at least offer a description and offer Jada a new suspect. EJ demanded Gabby for his press conference and was frustrated since she was not back from her trip to Arizona yet. Once Gabby returned and set up Stefan fighting with EJ, she agreed to attend the press conference since Stefan wanted to throw his family a bone after EJ left on Friday's Days of Our Lives show. Gabby dragooned Stefan into dishing about Jude Demira, Aka Jude Brady's maternity, and his blackmail material. Although Gabby claimed they had to tell Eric the verity about his son, Stefan prayed her not to rock the boat again. Gabby putatively decided Stefan was right and embraced him, but she looked reflective over his shoulder. Back in the city forecourt, EJ was willing to surrender control of his shares to move Kristen Demura to make Melinda her legal counsel at Demura Enterprises. Kristen took the deal, but she remained curious about why EJ was doing all this. Melinda inked the paperwork, but she'd only tell Kristen that EJ was doing what was stylish for him. At The Spectator on Friday's day's occasion, Eric Brady told Nicole Dimera that he was taking a photography job at a prestigious magazine in Paris, and he was leaving Moment. Eric formerly again explained why he demanded a clean break and allowed it was stylish if he didn't see Jude before he left. Nicole also mentioned that EJ knew about her drunkenly kissing him, so Eric was surprised and didn't know what he'd do in EJ's situation. Nicole eventually got emotional and didn't want to say goodbye, so Eric agreed they wouldn't actually say it. As Eric offered a sad smile and headed for the doorway, Nicole gave a little surge and cried as she watched him go. Eric also broke the Paris news to Marlena Evans after her visit to Bobby and said Nicole would always have a piece of his heart. Once Jada ended up back in Bobby's Bayview room, he played games with her and tried to bargain for his release. Jada hovered to leave if Bobby didn't come clean about what he knew, so he eventually admitted this was about Lee's case. Back in the city forecourt, Rafe approached Gabby as she arrived with Stefan and said he was there to support her at that press conference. Connie walked over to hail Gabby and claimed she was glad about her freedom. Now that the real killer had been caught according to Connie, she suggested Lai could rest in peace. Gabby allowed it was nice of Connie to walk over and make those commentary, but Rafe allowed the commerce sounded strange. Subsequently on Friday's day's occasion, Connie returned to the scene of the crime and flashed back to pecking Lee from before, so she was revealed as his real killer. Nickel showed up in the city forecourt to cover the press conference for the spectator. When Nickel eavesdropped Melinda talking to EJ and got suspicious, EJ acted like he just wanted to tell her about Melinda's new job himself. Although Nicole didn't get why Kristen would hire Melinda, EJ prevaricated that maybe she did it just to malignancy him. Once the press conference got a foot, EJ made a speech about his part in getting justice since Gabby was free and Lai's case had apparently been truly answered. When it was Gabby's turn to make a statement, she thanked her musketeers, family and especially Stefan. Gabby only reluctantly thanked EJ toward the very end and she refocused out that he was the bone who put her in captivity in the first place due to flimsy substantiation. Still, Gabby explained that EJ freed her out of love for Nicole and his hopeless attempt to hang on to her. Nicole was confused, but Gabby claimed it was because Nicole was still in love with Eric. And Eric was the father of her baby. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.